Okay, uh, somebody emailed me there was going to be two members, two uh, MLAs from the Green Party on Voice of the Province. I haven't called there for a while, so uh, I decided the Green Future is the province doing enough to protect our future generations. So I decided to call in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to go to the lines here for a second. We have a caller. Okay. Uh, we have Charles from Fredericton. Hello, Charles. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Doing good. Hello, Charles. Uh, it's, it's too cold tonight to, uh, so today to uh, chase a politician with my camera. But uh, I'd like to ask a question. I just want to let you know you have an echo in the, back, in, in the background. Anyway. Um, what I'd like to know uh, is, uh, they talk about poverty, poverty, and I want to talk about an issue that nobody talks about, and that's inmates in the provincial jail. What they do, like here in Fredericton, there's no provincial jail. So, like, um, last winter, they had a, a woman, and she was a panhandler. They approached her, and then they got her name. They, they, uh, they, they found out that she had an unpaid fine, so they drove her to Miramichi, and then they kept her for a couple of hours, and then they gave her a Google map and forced her to walk home in the snowstorm. And um, here, if we had a provincial, we don't have a provincial jail here. So wouldn't you agree, would the Green Party bring the issue of prisoners forced to walk home after the sentence is done? And also, we have a, a Caroline Warnock. About a couple of years ago, she died in the Miramichi jail, and I talked to somebody there, and and I guess uh, it could have been um, it could have been stopped or um, avoided. But when a prisoner dies behind bars, there is no coroner inquest whatsoever, none. And uh, I think that's very de disturbing. There's a guy named Tyler Swiney that died also in in, in the Shidiak jail. So what I'm saying is poverty and the inmates behind bars that's dying and forcing to uh, to make them forced to walk home. Shouldn't the Green Party bring the issue to the house? You guys have a good night. Bye bye. Charles, <coughs> thanks, Charles. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did you want to go first? I could go. I mean, um, it, it, it is a, a a very important issue. I think you know um, people that go to jail and. So often what happens is we, we, we send people there and then we just abandon them after that and, and uh, um, this, this whole thing of not driving people or, or you know the, the whole process of, of um, reintroduction into I mean jail I, I, I've luckily never been um, but it's, 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 uh, it's a whole other world. And, uh, and the, the whole readaption process um, to society after that um, is, is probably the most important and vital part. And, and um, often we see jail as, as a, just, just a punishment. And after that, well, I, I hope you've learned your lesson and, and that's it, it finishes there. But it, it definitely should not uh, finish mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah. and um, the whole idea of a jail is that um, yeah. people can learn from their mistakes and can, um, and it depends on, on what has happened, but it could be sort of rehabilitated or can come back into society and definitely that, that is one of the issues that, that we have and there's a lot of homelessness and poverty and, and unemployment um, that people experience when they, they leave jail. And, and certainly we, we need to pay attention to the, the human rights of, of people that are inmates or in, or in jail and make sure that they are, are treated fairly, treated safely. Uh, I am, that, is, that is definitely a concern. And certainly it isn't acceptable to take someone out of their community, keep them in a jail briefly, and then, and then leave them without a way to get home. Absolutely, that, that is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. All right, like and, thank, oh, sorry. sorry, I'm, I'm going to have one more thing. That, um, I think we can look at specific instances, but, but it's, it's useful to take a step back and, and think about why people end up in jail and, and what happens to, to get there and get to that point. And, and there are systemic issues around poverty, um, around health, mental health, um, and 
and the, the way things work in our society um, that, that criminalize people or, or make it difficult um, t for them. And so I think that, that we always need to be thinking about you know, who's being harmed and who's, who's benefiting and, and, and how do we support people to, to have better outcomes. All right. Uh, thank you, Charles, again for the question. Now, the Green Party is a gr growing party with... So, it's... Uh, that I... Uh, I sort of put them uh, on the spot because they're new MLAs and nobody, nobody in their right mind uh, calls a talk show and starts talking about prisoners' rights. Uh, they are new. It's all right. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They never answered the question about coroner inquest. But, you know, you're under pressure. This is Voice of the Promise. There's about 50,000 people that watches this show. And uh, they're more relaxed with my, with my videos. Uh, inmates are dying behind bars. And there's no coroner inquest. Anybody, they could kill anybody. And hey, the majority of the New Brunswick are said, well, it was there for a reason. Should have never breathed the law in the first place. And she mentioned human rights. I'm sorry, wrong answer. There's no human rights here in New Brunswick. I went to Human Rights Commission with that idiot. What's his name again? Oh, Randy Dickerson. Yeah. Boom, boom. A guy that talks more than me and, does, and, and doesn't say nothing. Um, anyway, uh, I, I went there. Poverty? Human Rights Commission? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you're gay, woo, welcome, welcome. So, and there hasn't been a tribunal in New Brunswick Human Rights Commission in 30 years. I mean, a Human Rights Commission is just government employees. They're psychologists, psychiatrists, listen to people to protect the government. That's all. So, uh, and there are a lot of things, Human Rights Commission. Carl, can you say Carl White? No, no, Charlie Focus. It's not, don't get personal here. Anyway, uh, no, it was all right, but um, don't worry. Uh, they, they're learning, they're learning. They're, but the issue must be brought up on, on the floor and say, do we have a policy that prisoners, once they're done their sentence, that they will bring them back to Fredericton, the justice system where they were sentenced? Because a lot of them, if they had a lawyer like uh, uh, Richard Olin, they don't really like Richard Olin. Sorry, Richard, lawyer, uh, Richard Olin would love to have a lawyer so he'd be alive. Dennis Olin, no, you know, 95% of those cases wouldn't even go to court. But when you're less fortunate, native, people with mental illness, not good. But anyway, I will educate them and we'll bring this, make sure that this is brought up on the floor of the House of the Legislature. Something has got to be done.